Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we're in, we'll be doing our June Mini Year Freak Out Tag. Let's get going. I know June is practically over, but July is coming with a lot of corner, but you know, never like the never, right? Let's get going. So number one is best book you have read so far in 2024. It's probably House of Hunger by Alex. Alexis Henderson. Um, I thought it was a weird book, but in a good way. I really like the plot, like the plot and the twist. But I think the characters could have been better. But like, honestly, it was just a really weird book. It's, a, it's like a vampire uh, kind of story, but like a true vampire in a sense. It's not like Twilight and all that crap. No, but um, I honestly really liked House of Hunger, even though it was kind of weird at most times. But yeah, I really actually enjoyed that part, so I guess that was the best book I read so far. Number two is best sequel you have read so far in 2024. I haven't read any sequels so far, unless you count like those novellas and things like that. Then it's probably Tales of the Celestial by Suman Ten, which is a 2.5 and Daughter of the Moon Goddess. But yeah, that was Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sulin Tan, so I thought that was a great book. I really liked the characters, I like how we were able to return to the world, and I thought the illustrations were really pretty, and I honestly just really liked the stories of it. So if the novellas could count, I'll go with that one. Number three is new releases you haven't read yet. Yeah. So I have a lot, and I kind of narrowed it down, but Otherwise, this, we will be here forever. So, number one is Sam the Gong Bejoan He. I believe that is a sequel to the Strike the Zyther, I believe. So, I do want to get to read that book. Number two is Hedda by Jennifer Saint. It's another Greek mythology retail. Number three is Lady Macbeth by Ava Reed. I have read her study in Drowning, which is alright. Not really my style, but it was alright. Number four is The Mirror of Beast, which is the number two in the Silver in the Bone, which I have yet to read, so I really want to get down to reading that book before touching the sequel. And that is from Alexandra Bracken. And number five is Draw Down the Moon by P.C. Cast and Kirsten Cast. And I wonder if they're sisters or like, you know, siblings, but I don't know. Uh, but, anyways. And number six is Goddess of the River by Vajinavi Patel. So, number four is Most Anticipated Release for the Second Year of the Half. So again, number one is Goddess of the River by Vajinavi Patel. Amy, Guardian of the Dawn by S.J. Jones. The number one book is Zara. Number three is Medici Heist by Caitlin Schneider Han. Number four is Heavenly Thailand by Zelen J. Shao. She is, she is the author of Ivan Widow. And number five is this Enchanted Rise of Celestia, Celeste Artois by Ryan Gradon. Gradin, I think that's what you say. <laughs> number five, Biggest Disappointment. Um, honestly, I hadn't really read much books in 2024. Like, all the, like, let me rephrase it. I have read books in 2024, but not specifically in the year of 2024, if that makes sense. I've been kind of reading backwards because I'm doing a video that I have finally finished doing for the video. I just have to film it. And I was thinking of doing like a vlog, but then I just kind of forget about that. Uh, and then I was just like, I would just film like how I'm filming right now. So. I can't believe it took until summer. It's just mind blowing. But yeah, um, I can't really say any biggest disappointment for specifically for 2024. But I'm we still got another half year of you know to go, so I'm sure I'll find some eventually. Number six is biggest surprise. Um, honestly, probably A Touch of Chaos by Scarlet St. Clear. I believe that is the last book in. A Touch of Malice series, and again, House of Hunger by Alexis Henderson. House of Hunger did start out really slow, so there were times where I actually wanted to DNF the book, just because it really was a little bit slow, but like, about halfway, it kind of picked up. Same thing with A Touch of Malice. 
and kind of also was a little bit slow and then and eventually picked up so I thought it was great so I'm sad that the series is over but it was actually really fun to read. Number seven is favorite new author debut on new to you it's probably MK Loeb. I have recently finished her Seven Faceless Saints so I really enjoyed the book I want to read her sequel to it but yeah <laughs> So many secrets, and I could have answered that sequel question, number two, but uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Too many books, so little time. Also, if you hear the card that's my neighbor, they decide to lift things up. How inconsiderate, honestly. Like, why do people find it cool? It's annoying. Anyways, number eight, newest fictional crush. Again, I don't really do a type of things, but yeah, I just have no fictional crush whatsoever. And same thing with number nine, newest favorite character. As of now, I don't really have one, but I'm sure I will find one. We still got the second half of the year. I'm sure I will find one. Okay, so number ten. Again, books that made you cry. I don't have any as of yet. But if I, could, if I could go back to a year or so, it will probably be Looking for Jane by Heather, uh, Heather Morrison, I think, believe that's her last name is. That almost made me cry, but again, specifically for this year, I have no books that made me cry. I don't know if I'm heartless, but I just have no books that made me cry. Number 11, books that made you happy. So I have Rise of the Vicious Princess. And that is by CJ Redwine. I actually really loved it. Um, I wish the author knew some sentiments of Fury. She always uses Fury like so many times and I'm like, dude, I'm pretty sure there's another way to use Fury. But I actually really liked it. Like it made me, like there was a lot of action. I liked the plot twist even though I kind of saw it coming. But I just really loved it, enjoyed the story. So I want to read a sequel. Which I believe it's called Re Return of the Vengeful Queen, something like that. Again with the sequels. Oh my god, this would have been perfect for number two. Oh, I need to stop reading my sequels. Anyways, number 12 is most beautiful book you bought so far. And now we'll be starting up to Six Bones by Judy Eileen. And Tempest of Thee by Has Half Star Fazil. And Let It to the Limited Steep by. Sylvie Cathwell and of Jane and Dragons by Amber Shin. This is a really pretty cover. It's, it's so vibrant. I love it. I can't stop talking about it. I just love that book. Well, I haven't read it. I just like the cover. <laughs> Number 13. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? I have a lot, but I had to narrow it down, so let's get ready. Number 1 is What Monsters Gods by Rosa Moon Hodge. Now, this is the third book in the trilogy of Mary, and then it's My Selfie Mary by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Johnny Meadows, not Joni Benson. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know why I thought about Joni Benson. Uh, no, and then number three is Heavenly Thailand by Zelen J. Shell. Number four is actually an entitled mytho- well, not really, not, it's not a mythology, why do I say mythology? This is entitled Retail, but and Madeline Miller is going to write The Tempest by Shakespeare, so that's going to be exciting. I believe she wrote Cersei, I believe, so I really enjoyed that book, so I'm excited to read more about her. And we have number four, uh, number five is Sound of Gong by Joanne He, and number five, A Song to Drown Rivers by Anne Leon. So those are all the questions I have. Um, they could have been better answered, I guess, especially for that sequel question. I'm listening to like so many sequel books, and then yeah, I just haven't read them. Oh, I couldn't get those working. <laughs> but anyways, let me know how you did in the first in the first half of the year. And otherwise, please like, comment, subscribe, so you'll be notified every time I post. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!